Hey there everyone, Hanyu here. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. And uh, yeah, last episode we found ourselves suddenly transported here on this tropical island from uh, Hope's Peak Academy um, by a bunny. Yeah, it's a bunny this time. I don't trust it, but who knows. Anyway, leave here, yes. Hey. Ah, about exploring the island. It appears a map of the island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. Is this a retelling of Danganronpa, or what, what, or what? Because he's just... The whole situation seems familiar. I haven't learned anything about every, ev learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Eh, eh, you don't know. The school is so popular that there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then was I also? Hmm. Hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. Probably over- I probably overlooked it. How unexpected! Well, it's not your fault if you can't- if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned down there. It's not a mistake I was accepted in the Hook Speed Academy. Yep! Anyway, I'll- um, I- I'll help out too. So, why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island, in this island. Then... Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at your map in your e, e handbook you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an explanation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the left stick. You can run by holding B button while you move. If you press the left and right directly, right directional buttons. You can also instantly move to the next area. Huh? When a, the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the A button. Probably realized it by now, but you can... But you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there will be a, the, a small reward. Um, this is strange. <laughs> I'll admit, this is definitely... Different than uh, airport. Um, branch just helps I. The navigation system is definitely odd. Welcome to, welcome to paradise. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Planes? Yeah, you're a bona fide genius. Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? Ah. 
Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Cool. Nice to meet ya. Though, if this is anything like the last <laughs> game, we've probably met before. As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey! Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to, the t to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close! Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's, a ex it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Ah. That was mentioned in the safety precautions of the school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please li live peacefully. Ple please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Please can be considerate to each other. Littering not allowed. I already read these in the end of the last episode. The teacher not allowed to directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. That's an interesting rule. These rules are definitely, probably, most likely going to be changing, considering this game's predecessor. For now, Looks like we're being kept safe, so why don't... So why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island, and to spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier, seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? But... Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right! Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see, the, ha, and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you stare close at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how care carefree he's being right now. He goes so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want us to keep want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Fiend. Stop right there if you value your life. You're not coming Hmm. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. <sighs> well, what's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well! In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. And may you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. You know, there was a guy in the last game who thought very, who had very similar prospects for himself. 
Don't be surprised if shit goes south for you after this little school trip. Ultimate breeder. Wait, what? R rule this world. He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is your turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? You! Which tribe did you make uh, your pact with? Answer me. Huh? What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of Answer pandemonium! Though I, sh though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then specify don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you have a pet. If you used to have a pet. Pet. No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab. You passed over. We, we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect. Taste your huh. powerlessness! Your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Is it trash? Really? Meal! Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Who do you think I am? I'm the great, powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Uh, hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he's t he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Gundam Hawk Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Really? A Hulk reference? <laughs> Did I miss something? No. <laughs> um, yeah. I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any live any animal and even manage to succeed a proliferating and endangered species. Even managed to succeed a proliferating and endangered species. Okay, rumor has it he can speak to animals. That's what well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals. Well he's he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. I guess we're done here. I'm just gonna run around for a second and see if this affects my pet at all. Does it actually have to be steps? Yep, it actually has to be steps. Oh, rocket punch market, right it is then. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. Look at the size of that freaking jug of cola. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we don't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Well. It, it's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee any anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? Hmm. You certainly are the skeptical type. 
Of course I am. Even this supermarket is strange. Look around. We're, we're in the we're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody and there's nobody else here except us. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't you saw me say this island is uninhabited? That that's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? What happened? It's nothing. She's staring at me funny. Um. Ah, uh, um, um, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Well then. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Hi, your name is Hajime. Is it okay with, if it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Uh, of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Okay. Ultimate Nurse. Hey, mind t checking out my head for a little bit? Because I think somebody might have fiddled with it. Well... Um, you know... <laughs> Um, 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 um. Uh, my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> huh? Is he just putting more pressure? Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll uh, just ask you since I won't get anything at anywhere asking her. So, what's her deal? Ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her. You'll need her help. So it's best if you get along with her with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll die. You'll, you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. Great, we have another Toko. It, it's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. Except she's the complete opposite personality-wise from Tur Toko, despite being the with the, stu with the stutter and stuff like that. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Playing a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does that keep happening? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. <laughs> So yeah, that happened. Vending machine. It's like a vending machine, but it doesn't ex seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Peeking! Peeking! Hello! Oh, hi! Who are you? Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Hello! Your tension is super low. Are you feeling alright? Oh! Ah, that's right. Introduc introductions are a go-go. E, buki, mio, da. Put it together and what do you get? E, buki, mio, da. Huh, nice to meet you, buki. Ultimate musician. She's cute. Yes. All right. Productions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see, I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No problemo! American cheese, Mexican, Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would, stu would shop here. Yahoo! Man, I'm getting hella stoked. 31 flavors of stoked for all of this deliciousness. <laughs> and I'm ex 
excited, I get hungry mungry. I, I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry and I'm excited? Why don't I, why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> yeah. The human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School Pyongyang, Pyongyang Hour, sold over a million copies. Sup a super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to per pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! You interested. What? You could hear me. <laughs> yeah, you boopies a musician after all. Guitar! Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna, I too am an awesome, and an awesome musician. Um, I don't think those are all musicians. Van Gogh is a painter. Edison's an inventor. You have Schubert, Bach, and I'm not sure. Perez and Senna. Senna. Hmm. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. Ah, call it. <laughs> don't sweat all don't sweat the beat. Hey, I leveled up. Cola! That's a lot of sola. Soda. That's a lot of soda. Yes, that is one big cola bottle. I bet it'd go flat before you could even finish drinking it. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. Can't believe the supermarket even sells stuff like this. Just as I thought, a blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? Even if we're being monitored for our own security, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. Get out of here, then. Walking along, walking along. This is where most of the people are, right? Yeah, most of the people seem to be here, so I'm gonna go here last, because I think that's going to be the main spot I need to go to push things forward. Thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? I think she's. Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Hmm. Hmm. Still, I'm quite troubled. Ranch without moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. 
Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Bibbity bobbity, bibbity bobbity. Bibbity bibbity, bobbity bobbity. Boo! Turn into a moo cow. Holy crap. Okay then. So that just happened. What? Hey. A huge success. What what was all that just now? A, a chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it probably it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet that it was set up before we got out of here. So he's probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, because you may a trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living creatures like that is just not cool, you know? Hey, it's a toucan. Tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Yo! Hey, who are you dudes? Nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh, gotcha. And who's the who's the southern dude? What? Huh? Haven't we met? All, haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, haha. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pr I pretty much suck at remembering names, and I haven't and, and I've uh, met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm Nagito Kameda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you too. Ultimate gymnast. Nice. Well, Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild trouble troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnast gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and interest and switches it up. How self-centered, no matter how you cut it, she sound, uh, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. I think she sounds interesting. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh? Don't tell me you. I won't expect it. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She's she is she is hot. Based on appearances, it looks like it's a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? So who's this little girl? Squish! What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her fingers onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name's Hajime, Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. huh? I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. Ultimate traditional dance Squish, squish. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually... Hiyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dances, dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already perfor performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well then again, well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Squish! Squish! Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. Hmm? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants! Duh! I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Wanna do it together? Hell no. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> hmm, you was. Th this kid, her attitude just doesn't doesn't match her appearance at all. Well, I guess that's it here, right? Oh wait. Usami Corral, I guess it's a ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Alright, last place on the list. Place we'll probably be spending a lot of time. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps? The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for furniture. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfortable isn't an option. Here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey! Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a great base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will be displayed if you press the Y button. Ah, so this is more traditional navigation than it seems. I said the Y button, don't make me repeat myself. Oh, okay then. Um... I leveled up. That's me. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think I might be ending it here. Gonna talk to him real quick. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? What kind of trauma has he experienced? Alright, yeah, so this is gonna do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Danganronpa 2 and more and others in other series in the future. So yeah, until next time everybody, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye.